Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Karen, Lavender Clothesline, and today I have a really exciting haul. Today I'm going to show you what I pick up in the outlets, and we're going to focus on Pottery Barn finds. So as many of you know, I'm a big lover of Pottery Barn for my own personal use and also for resale. And today I'm going to show you what I've been finding and what I've been buying, just looking at the table here, in my last three trips at Pottery Barn. So I've mentioned before, and I've also mentioned on Instagram, so you guys would know about it, that the Pottery Barn outlet in Lancaster on Route 30 is switching from the Rockvale outlets to the Tanger outlets. And because of that move, their clearance sales are crazy good. Now, let me just say, I have been sourcing from Pottery Barn pretty much the whole time I've been selling on eBay. And while Pottery Barn's retail prices are crazy high, even though I love their stuff, I never buy anything full retail. So what I'm doing is going into the outlet center and looking for the items that are going to bring the profit because they are marked down, they're on clearance. Pottery Barn might be clearing out of something, maybe they have overstock. So today we're going to go through a few of the items. Truthfully, I have hundreds of these items in my house and they are selling through and always make me great profit. So if you live near a Pottery Barn outlet, I'm not saying that you will have the same exact pricing. This pricing is especially good because they are clearing out the store and moving just a couple of miles down the street and I am on it. So I'm going every couple of days and scouring the whole store. I will insert footage of just what I'm finding and what I'm seeing and what the store looks like at this point. But go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button and let's get going. day the store was quite crowded but it was pretty cleared out now like I mentioned this store is moving its location just a couple of miles down the street they will be near the Nike outlet in the Tanger outlets on Route 30 in Lancaster Pennsylvania I think this is probably the best sale that I've seen for this store, although after Christmas I do quite well and at the end of the summer I do quite well. There was a lady at the end of the aisle, I'm trying very hard not to show her, and in her hand she had the floral backpack that I'm going to show in a few minutes. Uh, not a backpack, a lunch bag. And I thought this was really pretty. But again, the price is too high and I won't put that much into my inventory. You guys know I'm all about buying in at a very low price and trying to get the best profit for my money. How cute is this little, I think this is a French Bulldog. So sweet, little backpack. Look at that price, $44.50. That's even crazy for Pottery Barn. Even though I don't purchase a lot of lunch bags or lunch packs or backpacks from Pottery Barn, I do pretty much go up and down every aisle at least once. I do calculate what the final price will be with all the discounts, and here I'm looking at backpacks and lunch bags, and these were 60% off. This Harry Potter caught my attention. It's a little backpack, and you can see the price there being almost $40. Even with 60% off, if I did carry backpacks and lunch bags, I wouldn't have purchased that. But like I said, I always like to look at what is available. So here I'm just taking a quick shot of what the store looks like. Most of the furniture, the big furniture, has been sold off or cleared out. I'm not sure if any of the big furniture went to other stores. It's my understanding they're just trying to sell everything from this location. So you can be sure I will be at this store for the last few days to see if the discounts go higher. Right now the percentage off is anywhere from 60 to 75% off. Here I'm looking at some of the lighting. I also look at the hardware. 
the towel bars, um, pretty much anything that is red tagged catches my attention. The red tag are the clearance tags and this day it was 75% off of the red tag. I liked those hobnail lamps but did not want to ship them. Here I'm just taking a look at their pillow covers. Pottery Barn carries quite a bit of these different pillow covers. I believe they come in 18 by 18 all the way up to 26 by 26. But again, the buy-in price was not that great. This back wall is usually filled with these pillow covers and the stock was quite low. Here I'm giving you a little peek of my cart filling up quite quickly. And these are the deals that I came in for. 75% off of the clearance ticket. Well, I did like these duvet covers. This is the Pottery Barn dorm. So a lot of the cases come in the extra long twin because I believe that's what college dorms have a lot. I did not care for the brown with the white scroll. I didn't think this would be a hot seller. I really haven't seen brown as a common color in a bedroom motif. So I used my judgment there. I did not run a comp. Could have been a mistake. There I was looking at some Christmas decor. And here, as you see, is a sign. All the kids' costumes were about $10. If I had seen costumes that were in their entirety, maybe like fairies or dragons or something really cute, I would have definitely picked those up. Here I'm inserting a shot of what their boxes look like. These boxes have pretty much items that have been opened, are not in the original packaging, but my best advice is lean over and dig down in because a lot of times the wrapped items fall to the bottom. So I dig, I put all of the inventory from one box to the other, and then I neatly put it back as best as I can. So here is a little bit of a closer view of the boxes. Most of the items are unmatched. So if you find a certain drape you like, it's a real hunt to find the second one. Here I'm finding a baby crib bumper and I didn't see a price on it. So I kept moving. This pillow cover was beautiful. This item is a Sumbrella slipcover. Look at the price on that, $284.97. Now, even with 75% off, I would never put that kind of money into an item like that. Here I'm looking at the pillow cover, just beautiful, but it did not have the red tag on it. So my Pottery Barn outlet runs different sales on different things on the floor at different times, but almost always I can find items that are on clearance. To me, it seems like Pottery Barn Outlet puts items on clearance when they have an abundance of it. And that does not mean they don't sell online. It just means they're trying to move product just like any other seller. So I'm just gonna dive right in and show you what I found. I'm gonna try to remember uh, pretty much what I paid for it at the end after all the sales and everything. And you can go into my store, Lavender Clothesline on eBay and sort by solds to see what of the items are selling through and what what I have of the items, if all of that makes sense. All right, let's get started. So the first item that I found is this gorgeous duvet. Now you can see it's out of its regular packaging, but I can tell it's brand new, in great condition, just beautiful. And this was $99.37 was the clearance price. So this item I did pay up for, and it was at 75% off, so I paid $25 for this. I have not checked this yet, and I have to do research 
of which uh, style this is, that's not really that hard to find. You just put into a Google search, Pottery Barn Floral Duvet. This feels like it might have a linen blend to it. Some of Pottery Barn's items are linen, some are cotton. You really have to look at the inside tags. Pottery Barn will always have their label content inside the duvet cover. So I will unwrap this to check it and look at the material content tag because a lot of buyers do want a certain type of material. But like I said, $99.97, just gorgeous. And I paid $25. This is the highest amount I will pay for a single item unless it's furniture and lighting. That's a whole nother story. I have bought the Mia chandeliers. Um, and some of the other bigger pieces too. We actually, my daughter Lisa and I actually bought her living room furniture at Pottery Barn and she got the most beautiful couches. I think the original retail would have been 6,000 and when all the sales were applied and everything was done, I think she paid 500. Great score there. But in my regular linen hauls for eBay, I try to stay between $2.50 and about $9 as a buy-in price. So I'm gonna quickly go through some of the items I found and tell you what I paid for them. Okay, this next item is a shower curtain. I'm actually gonna hold it and stand back so you guys can see the print. Ready for this gorgeous? How beautiful is this? Birds, butterflies, tropical print. And I'm gonna look at the tag for us. Now I can tell it's a shower curtain because it has the shower curtain holes for the rings to go through. And I'm gonna look, usually it's on the side, what the material content tag is. And here we are. This is what the tag looks like. I think my lighting is kind of bright today. And it is 100% cotton. Just beautiful. So I'm not sure what the full retail price was. I imagine this was probably close to the $100 mark. Yes, Pottery Barn is a little pricey. <laughs> I don't pay $100 for a shower curtain. But after all of the sales, I got this for $12. So absolutely, yes, just gorgeous. And that is item number two. Item number three I found in great quantity. This is an item that I found in the big boxes. They're almost like Gaylord boxes. And Pottery Barn will throw all of the items into those big brown boxes and give one discount off of everything. So the day that I went, it was 75% off of anything came out of the boxes and it was 75% off the clearance price. So you have regular retail price, outlet price, and then clearance price, and then percentage off a of clearance price. That's what I'm looking for. So these are the organic flannel snow globe shams. This is great for Christmas time, really sweet. And this is Pottery Barn Kids. They have Pottery Barn Kids, Pottery Barn Teen, Pottery Barn Every Day. Uh, there are quite a few labels within Pottery Barn, but these are just little standard flannel pillowcases. So that's what they look like. Now the regular price in the store when there's no clearance and not on sale would have been $24.50 and yes, people do spend that kind of money. So I found these, I believe I bought 25 of them and I paid uh, $4 and change per pillowcase. So that was a great find. And like I said, I bought 25 of them. These will move a little bit slower during this time. We're in August, almost August, and it is really hot here. But once Christmas comes, I imagine these will sell through really well. When I am shopping Pottery Barn sales and clearance, one of the first things I always look for are pillowcases and pillow shams. Because I'm trying to keep my buy-in price low, um, I go for smaller pieces. And a lot of times the style of the print, so like say it's called the Magnolia Sham, they'll have too many shams for their duvets and their bedspreads. So after that style is out of season, they will be left with a lot more pillowcases and shams. And that's when I come in and scoop them up. So I did find, I'm gonna say 40 of these. This is the Magnolia Sham, it's a King Sham and you can see what it looks like there. So I have about 40 of these, and this is the clearance sticker right there. 
So I don't know if the camera's gonna focus on that. And the sales sticker says $9.97. So it was $9.97 per King Sham, but 75% off. So I'm paying $2.50 for one sham, and I will sell two together. I forgot what I'm selling these for. I always try to remember. I think it's somewhere around the $25 mark. So the buy-in price cost me five, and I'm selling, I think, for 25 to 30. Don't quote me on that. With all of the inventory I bring in, it does get hard to keep track of what I'm selling items for. Recently, a few of you commented asking about my pricing. So what I do is I set the price that I want plus a little bit extra, and then I run different sales. So the sales that I apply to my store can be anywhere from, I'm gonna say 10% all the way up to 35%. So for me to give you a set price, like I'm charging this much, I'm unable to do that because every 48 hours my sales change. But I hope I explained all of that correct. So these Pottery Barn shams, I have in great quantity, holding it upside down. I said yes to these. I do pick up quite a bit of the Pottery Barn Kids line. So here we have the Tencel Aiden Star Quilted Sham. And I believe I paid $2.50 for this. I got a couple of these. Right now at that Pottery Barn outlet, they have a big sale going on on crib bumpers. All the crib bumpers within those big Gaylord boxes are $10. Now I did think about that for a while, but I really didn't want to ship large crib bumpers. And to me, I think somebody will commit to a pillowcase, you know, to mix pillows, rather than one pattern for their baby's crib. So I did not pick up the crib bumpers, but if you're in Lancaster and you want to try selling the retail arbitrage from Pottery Barn, you might want to stop in and see, you know, where they're at price-wise. The next item that I picked up was new in package like this, long folded. And these are, what are they calling them? It's a linen kitchen towel, and it has a sparkle to it. So one of them is open. I'll show you what this looks like. Kind of like a flax color. Again, I picked these up in great quantity. I'm going to say I probably have, it's a guess, 25 or 30 of these. And it's a single kitchen towel that you get in the package. And what did I pay for these? So these were on sale for $10, so $2.50 per kitchen towel. And I don't expect the profit from something like this will be that high. I'm thinking I even paid less for these. You know what, guys? I think I paid, I paid $1.25 for these. I think they had a sign that just said $1.25 with stacks of them, and I picked them all up. So that was a great find. One of the most common items that I look for at Pottery Barn are the duvet covers. Their duvet covers can be hundreds of dollars at full price. So when I find duvet covers at a good price, I'm always thrilled to pick those up. This first one is the Luciana Medallion duvet cover. And this is a twin. I pick up all sizes. So that's what that looks like. Beautiful gray and white medallion. And what did I pay for this? Okay, so the regular retail was 80. I believe these were on sale for $19.99 and then 75% off. So I got something that they normally charge $80 for, for $5. So I picked up one, two, and I have a third one downstairs in inventory. So I got three of those, which was a great find. Another thing that I pick up um, whenever I see them are the velvet pillow shams. I love their velvet pillow shams. I think they're just beautiful. They're usually diamond quilted or chevron quilted. And here is one. This is the, I don't know what this is called. Let me see if I have another one. Velvet floral. Okay, so this one is a velvet floral stitch. You can see it there. And the normal price on this was $83. It was on sale for $19.97, that was the clearance price, and then 75% off. So again, I got this for $5. And this one here is, this is missing here, I think it's the Nia, N-I-A. And the Nia has a beautiful, like, like glimmer to it. Glimmer is not the right word, a beautiful sheen to it. So I got this one, again, for $5. And I got this one. Uh, normally $75. This is called the Velvet Channel Sham. And what size is this? This is the king size. 
I keep track of Pottery Barn inventory with letters so that I make sure I send out the correct item because a lot of times I have very similar items. And this was normally $75 and it was on sale for $19.99 and then clearance price 75% off. So I got this one for $5. Here's some more pillowcases. These are standard. This is called Serrano Medallion Sham and that's what the print looks like. Again, red ticket. I'm always looking for the red clearance ticket. And these are $9.97, so I got them for $2.50. Great deal. As a matter of fact, I think I sent two of these out this morning. And what did I get for them? Uh, I can't remember. I'll have to go back and look, or I'll try to put that information on the screen here. One of the other items that I always look for is the Pottery Barn Teen line. So here's a pair of tie-dye cuff cases. These are standard. It's a set of two. They're kind of like a lavender tie-dye color. Always attracted to that. And I'm looking for the regular price. I peeled the sticker off. I think the regular price was $30 or $40. And I wound up getting these for $5. So there's those. I think I only got a couple of these tie-dye ones. I'm going to say three or four. A lot of times when you're picking up Pottery Barn outlet clearance items, you're not going to be able to get 30 or 40 of them. A lot of times it's a single or maybe two of them if you get lucky. And a lot of times it is a lot of digging and trying to find matching pairs of things. So I try to give myself a time limit like, okay, I'm going into Pottery Barn two hours is my limit but in two hours a lot of times I fill my cart and I think I've shown that on Instagram looks about right when I'm pushing this big old cart about two years ago I did go to the outlets after Christmas because I knew at the end of December beginning of January when all the when all the craziness has died down that Pottery Barn will put their Christmas their holiday stuff on sale and I did wind up filling my Jeep with dinner plates and all kinds of china linens, uh, Christmas stockings, uh, slippers, whatever I could get at a really good buy-in price. Here is another sham that I was able to get quite a bit of inventory, quite a bit of stock. This is the Hannah sham. This is a euro. You really have to pay attention to whether the shams are standard, king, or euro, because a euro sham is like a square. It's kind of, what is the size on a euro? 26 by 26 inches. So a euro sham will not sell through as quickly as a standard or a king for your bed. Not to say I don't pick up euro, I do, but I'm careful to not pick up an overabundance of a euro sham unless it's absolutely gorgeous. They have some beautiful paisley prints in like um, bright India orange colors. I forget what the name of that, what is the name of that pattern? I can't remember, I saw them the other day, but the price was still too high. Unless it's something really gorgeous, I don't pick up a great inventory amount of a Euro sham because like I said, Euro shams, think about it. How many times do you buy a pillow sham that's 26, 26? Now think about how often you buy pillowcases for your regular bed. See what I'm saying? So you do have to keep in consideration in your mind of how quickly the items are gonna be looked for. I don't mind sitting on inventory, this type of Pottery Barn for two years. Doesn't bother me a bit because Pottery Barn is a name that's like, you know, it's a, it's a good name. People are gonna look for it. And Pottery Barn has a following just like other brands like Nike or Apple or something like that. So almost always, I think pretty much never did I ever feel picking up Pottery Barn was a mistake for anything. I go ahead and pick up great quantities of it. When you're looking at linens in the store, my best advice is to think how often the item is looked for or searched for, or how often a family or even a single person would look to replace the item and how often that size in that print would sell. So I'm gonna give you an example of this, and this is how my mind thinks and it's worked out. Now I'm not saying that a print in any size won't sell. It's just that certain prints will take longer to sell in certain sizes, if that makes sense. So this next item is Pottery Barn Teen. 
This is a duvet cover, and I picked up quite a few of these. I picked these up a while ago. This is not this sale. This was probably last year, maybe at the end of summer, could have even been in the summer. And this is called the Retro Paisley Duvet. Now, the reason that I bring this up is that I had this same print duvet in twin size, and I also have it in queen size. The twin sizes, because it's a teen duvet, sold through quicker, probably because more teens have a twin bed than a queen bed. That's just my thinking. I could be wrong about that, but most of them sold through. I think I have, I think, three of these left. And I'm gonna say I probably picked up uh, over 20 of them that day. Not only this print, but the Pottery Barn Teen Duvets. So I don't know what the normal price is of this. I'm gonna say this was probably about the $100 mark would be my guess. And I believe I paid $9.97 for these. I can't even tell you what these are selling for in my store, but you can look up the Retro Paisley Print Pottery Born Duvet and you can see what they're going for. My guess is probably about $35 because I've had them for a while and I am looking to blow through the rest. But I, I don't mind sitting on inventory when it's a good name. Okay, so this was another pattern that I got. Again, I believe this is Pottery Barn Dorm, so it's almost like a team, but it's for people going off to college. And what did I pay? This was marked down to $4.97, and I believe this is a twin duvet. So got that print. This is the last one left in that print. And did I get more off the $4.97? This day, I think the red tag was just red tag. Sometimes Pottery Barn's clearance will have a certain percentage off all clearance, and sometimes it's just the red tag price. It's a lot of information to learn, but in my opinion, Pottery Barn has been a win for me. Not only have I been able to source at the outlet, but I have also sourced Pottery Barn from somebody that I connected with through a yard sale, brought great quantity home. I don't know if I have those photos. I took photos of that and put it on Instagram a long time ago. I'll try to dig that photo out. Where I connected with a buyer who had bought, I think it was returns, Pottery Barn returns. I'd love to see how to do that. That was great quantity. She had bought a warehouse full and I connected with her parents at a yard sale, made friends and was able to secure a lot of inventory that way. So that was a great find. And I think almost all of that is sold. I might have a few pieces left of that. And that was, I think, three summers ago. So sometimes this will take a while to move through your store. I'm not saying that to go out to Pottery Barn and buy everything on clearance you see, and it's gonna be a quick flip. No, you're waiting for the buyer who needs that item, likes the print, and needs it in that size. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, go out and get what's yours.